If I tell you what happens, it won't happen. Doctor Strange may not be a member of the Avengers, but he's certainly one of the most powerful beings in the universe. But what would happen if Earth suddenly found itself without the Sorcerer Supreme? Today at CBR, we're exploring what would happen if Doctor Strange died in battle. Unlike other superheroes such as Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and Black Widow, Doctor Strange did not make his MCU appearance in the Avengers. It wasn't until well into the MCU's Infinity Saga that Doctor Strange finally made his debut. Doctor Strange's first film served as an origin tale and as a primer for fans new to the master of the mystic arts. Stephen Strange was a world-renowned surgeon with a single fatal flaw. His unyielding arrogance made him extraordinarily unlikable. But when a tragic car accident left him unable to use his hands, Strange journeyed far to Nepal where he had heard there was a chance he could regain his dexterity. Doctor Strange's journey in his first film established his personal growth from a self-centered elitist to a humbled and empathetic individual who became worthy of bearing the title of Sorcerer Supreme. This character arc is important as it set the foundations for his character and his place in the MCU. Strange would appear in later films such as Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Infinity War, serving as a major player in the course of both films' narratives. Ultimately, the fate of the entire universe fell into Strange's hands as he used the Time Stone to peer into the incalculable possibilities of how the future would unfold in a battle against Thanos. But what would have happened if Doctor Strange had failed in his battle to thwart Dormammu in his first film? How would the history of the MCU have played out had Strange been a casualty in Avengers Endgame? Before these questions are answered, it needs to be understood that Doctor Strange is not the only person capable of becoming the Sorcerer Supreme. If Strange himself were to ever fall, there would be another person available to take up the mantle. However, Stephen Strange himself is a unique individual with a personality and drive all his own, and his ties to the rest of the heroes of the MCU have been and could continue to be vitally important moving forward. If Doctor Strange had become trapped within the Dark Dimension with Dormammu, or if he had been killed one time too many and lost the aid of the Eye of Agamotto, then he would never have been available to give aid to Thor and Loki in Thor Ragnarok. Had Thor and Loki not received help from Doctor Strange, then they would never have returned to their father, Odin, moments before he died. It had been in that critical moment that Thor had received a crucial piece of aid from Odin that served to propel him to newer heights of godhood against Hela later on. It's possible that Thor would never have been able to reach his true potential, which would have resulted in his defeat by Hela and her hordes of the undead. And with the God of Thunder gone, Earth would have surely fallen against the might of Thanos in Endgame. Allowing Strange to have survived his encounter against Dormammu, there is the possibility of his death in Endgame. As Multiverse of Madness opened with a terrifying incursion of the corrupted Scarlet Witch's magic, Doctor Strange instantly became a central force in preventing her from ripping the entire multiverse apart. While it was established that Scarlet Witch was simply searching for an alternate universe where her children had never disappeared so that she in turn could rebuild her family with them, it was also established that the Scarlet Avenger was also corrupted by the power of the Darkhold. Scarlet Witch had zero compunction with eradicating every single hero that stood before her. Her power proved so great that she was able to traverse the entire multiverse with ease. A question that remains from Multiverse of Madness is what would have happened had Scarlet Witch been free to search for her children without any interference and then inserted herself into their lives to make them complete once more? Or would the power of the Darkhold had turned her into a living conduit and vessel for its will and subsequently used her to spread chaos throughout the multiverse? This is a question that would have been answered quite definitively had Doctor Strange not been there to prevent her from achieving her goals. It's difficult to accurately gauge where the MCU would be without Strange had he not been present to stop Scarlet Witch. For starters, there's a very solid chance she would still be alive, though probably not on the main Earth of the MCU. If Scarlet Witch was still alive, then Agatha all along would never have happened. 
And as such, Billy Maximoff would never have been propelled into finding the Witch's Road. And as the events at the end of Agatha all along have set up the beginning of the end for the multiverse saga, in some ways, Doctor Strange hasn't been as pivotal to the fate of the MCU post-Endgame as other characters have been. However, because it is impossible to truly know what Scarlet Witch would have done and where she would have gone if left unchecked in Multiverse of Madness, it isn't fair to think that he hasn't played a major role already. The last time fans saw the Sorcerer Supreme in the MCU, he was entering into a portal with Clea in order to lend his aid across the multiverse. This perhaps is the biggest development of Doctor Strange's character thus far. His role in mending incursions throughout the multiverse screams of Secret Wars level threats. The largest avenue of speculation to explore with the idea of Doctor Strange's death is how the multiverse saga would end with him involved in any capacity. Doctor Strange's very first appearance involved him hurtling through multiple dimensions and battling one of the single most threatening beings in all of existence. It would make perfect sense for him to have a major role in any upcoming multiverse adventures. Picture it, Doctor Strange and Clea have their own massive adventure that takes them deep into the fall teen and dark dimensions. Just when the dust settles, an iron masked figure emerges from another portal and magical energy crackles around him. Strange recognizes the man inside the armor but can't understand what version of this figure may be. Doctor Doom makes his debut and being the opportunist that he is, races to harness all the residual multiversal energy that has accumulated from Strange's adventures. And just when things can't become any more complicated, Billy Maximoff appears, rewriting reality on the fly as he attempts to find his lost brother's soul. The sky's the limit with what could happen in the future of the MCU now, but not having Doctor Strange around would be a massive blow that would be hard to rectify. Doctor Strange would be pivotal in dealing with the new inadvertent threat of Billy Maximoff's unrestrained powers. Doctor Strange is also a necessity in dealing with any new supernatural forces that can come to play. While the Fantastic Four are Doctor Doom's original enemies, Doctor Strange is the perfect foil for Doctor Doom's eventual debut, as also seen in their encounters throughout Marvel Comics. Doctor Strange has to be present for the sake of the entire future of the MCU, and there's absolutely no question about it. There's hardly any fan theory that can exist at the moment that doesn't include the Sorcerer Supreme as a key player in the events that are about to unfold. If Doctor Strange were to die before the multiverse saga, it may ultimately doom the main MCU timeline. What do you think would happen to the MCU if Doctor Strange died? Do you think everything would go off the rails or would another character be able to pick up the pieces? Comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching CBR.